Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and this is your stimulus check update for the next stimulus package for Monday, March 8th. I hope everyone is off to a good and safe start for the Monday so far and that you all have a wonderful week ahead. In this video, I'll be discussing updates in regards to the current relief package and the third stimulus check. I'll also be discussing the $1,400 direct payments, what Democrats in the House are saying about the bill and the likelihood of them passing it. And then I'll be wrapping up this video by answering some of the comments and questions that I received in my previous video. But first, if you would remember quickly, like in this video, give me a big thumbs up. It really just helps with the YouTube algorithm in terms of pushing this video out to other viewers like you and hopefully helping other people like you as well. Okay, so with the Senate passing President Biden's $1.9 trillion relief package over the weekend, it now heads off to the House where they're expected to have their vote on Tuesday. The only question at this point is whether or not progressive Democrats in the House would still be on board with the plan after removing so many of the provisions that they were fighting for. On Friday, for example, Representative Bonnie Watson Coleman tweeted, this trend is outrageous. Eliminating $15 per hour, reducing thresholds for payments, cutting off around 400,000 New Jerseyans, cuts to weekly payments. What are we doing here? I'm frankly disgusted with some of my colleagues and question whether I can support this bill. She then went on to say, what is the party of the people doing when instead of putting our full effort into helping struggling working families, we're arguing over ways to toss them aside? What are we here for if not to help the American people? Another progressive Democrat in the House, Ilhan Omar, tweeted, You are right, Congresswoman. It's disgusting to see colleagues callously disregard policies that will lift people out of poverty and support working class Americans. Thank you for speaking truth to power. Then we had another Democrat in the House, Cory Bush, who said a $15 minimum wage was already a compromise. Now some Democrats are blocking it. $1,400 survival checks were already compromised. Now, some Democrats have taken them away from 17 million people. We have the House, Senate, and White House. Blocking more help for people is unjustifiable. At the moment, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is currently working with a slim majority with just 221 Democrats and 211 Republicans. Back in February, when they passed their original bill, it passed by a slim margin of 219 to 212, so they can't afford to lose too many other votes. However, even with these progressives showing displeasure in the bill, Pelosi is still confident that she'll have just enough votes come Tuesday. Also, the head of the Progressive Caucus offered a statement supporting the amended version of the bill in the Senate, calling it a truly progressive and bold package. In a statement, Representative Pramila Jayapal said, despite the fact that we believe any weakening of the House revisions was bad policy and bad politics, the reality is that the final amendments were relatively minor concessions. The American Rescue Plan has retained its core bold progressive elements originally proposed by President Joe Biden and passed in the House Relief Package. So it sounds like Democrats in the House, despite concerns from progressives that the bill isn't good enough, should end up passing this bill. Again, this means that the bill should be signed into law by Tuesday, making it a real possibility that the first batch of direct payments begin going out by the end of this week. At latest, I would think the first batch of direct payments would begin hitting bank accounts by next week, but with the IRS also dealing with tax returns, let's wait and see. Also, being that the bill is going to be signed into law around five days before the current unemployment benefits expire, it's my hope that the majority of states will be able to make the proper changes to ensure that people don't see a lapse in their benefits. Again, on that, we'll just have to wait and see. If you're wondering how our Republican lawmakers feel about the possibility of this bill passing tomorrow, well, they're not overly happy. Let's just put it that way. In a tweet, Republican Senator Pat Toomey said, $45 billion expansion of Obamacare, including new subsidies for people with six-figure incomes, $270 million to the National Endowment of the Arts and Humanities. This isn't about virus relief. It's about using a health crisis as an excuse to ram through a left-wing wish list. Then, in an image, as you can see up on the screen, it details different provisions of the bill that he didn't like, such as $570 million going towards 15 weeks of paid leave for federal employees. With this, federal workers will be eligible for up to $280 per day, up to $21,000 in total. This would cover things such as emergencies, sick time, 
or payment when an employee is exposed to the virus and must quarantine. Another Republican senator, perhaps the most anti-government spinning one, and Rand Paul tweeted, new 1 million Bolivar notes in Venezuela worth 53 cents. Will the US be the next Venezuela with Congress borrowing over $6 trillion in one year? In this tweet, Paul is showing concerns that the US may end up seeing the same type of hyperinflation Venezuela is experiencing where currency values continue to decrease. Now, even though some economists have shown concerns over inflation taking place over recent spending, Fed Reserve Chairman Jay Powell has downplayed those concerns. So on that, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so again, expect for the House to vote on and pass the Senate's version of the bill tomorrow. This should be voted on and approved on a near party line basis with nearly every Democrat voting for the bill and every single Republican voting against it. After this bill is signed into law, as I said, it's very possible the $1,400 direct payments begin going out as soon as later this week. Then, after this bill, they're going to begin working on their next relief package, which is expected to revolve around infrastructure. In addition to that, some Democratic lawmakers hope to have some amendments that tie current economic conditions to recurring direct payments and unemployment. So those are things that we'll have to keep our eye out on over the next couple of months. In the meantime, while we wait for the House to pass the bill tomorrow and for it to be signed into law, all we can continue to do is hang in there, stay strong, and hope for the best. Okay, so at this point in time, I'm going to move right along to answering some of the comments and questions that I received in my previous video. And if you do have any other comments or questions for me, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I do try to answer as many of the comments and questions as I possibly can, both of those comments and questions I'm not able to respond to. I do try to pick some of the more popular ones to answer in the next video in video form. Okay, so without further ado, let me go ahead and jump into the first comment of this video, which is from Jose. Jose says, Hey Josh, God bless you. About the child tax credit, do we have to pay that back? My wife and I have four children between the ages of 6 and 14. Thank you. Can you please explain how it works? Okay, thank you so much for your question, and no, you do not have to pay this money back. Put simply, this is just an increased amount from the child tax credit that you usually receive each tax season, except this time around, you'll be receiving it in advance on a near monthly basis. In your case, since you have four children between the ages of 6 and 14, you'll be receiving $12,000 in payments for 2021. This, of course, will be on top of the stimulus payment you'll be receiving, which should amount to $8,400 in total. Okay, moving right along to the next comment of this video, which is from Larry. Larry says, will the $2,000 be coming every month as promised? All right, thank you so much for your question, and no, in this bill, there will only be a one-time $1,400 direct payment. However, there are talks that in a future relief bill, perhaps the next one, they may have recurring direct payments in it. At this point, there hasn't been any word on how much the amount will be for or how long they will go on for. However, on this, I'll definitely make sure to keep you updated. Okay, moving right along to the next comment of this video, which is from Barbara. Barbara says, if it's clear by the Senate, can the House still add on when they get it back? Okay, thank you so much for your question. And yes, now that the bill is passed in the Senate, the House does have the option to amend the bill once again. This means that they can either add things into the bill as long as it doesn't exceed the amount of spending that they've been given, and if they would like, they can even remove things from the bill. However, House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer has already made things pretty clear that they have no intentions on making any changes and will go ahead and vote on the bill as is. So, on Tuesday, I would expect for the House to be voting on the same exact bill that the Senate passed without making any further changes. Okay, moving along to the next comedy video, which is from Kurt. Kurt says, so is it $1,400 for child and adult dependents? Okay, thank you so much for your question. And yes, child and adult dependents will both be receiving $1,400 for the next relief payment. Now, this is money that will be added to the payment of whoever claimed them. So if you're a single mother or father and have a 17 year old, for example, then you'll be receiving a $2,800 payment in total. All right, so on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. If you did enjoy the content in this video and you'd like to see more videos like it, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. 
It is completely free to do so, and it's a great support to me. Also, if you'd like to receive four free stocks from Webull, with two of them valued all the way up to $1,600 each, or one free stock from Robinhood just for signing up and linking your bank account, please feel free to claim those free stocks by clicking the link in the description box below. And finally, if you join Rakuten with my referral link in the description box below, and it's been at least $20, Rakuten will give you $20 cash back. This means that you can buy an item through Rakuten with one of their referral links, such as Macy's, for $20, and Rakuten will give you $20 just for making that purchase. This is just an incredible deal that I would love for everyone to take advantage of. Okay, so until next time, I'll see you guys, and I hope you have a great day today.